Whenever you're ready to start the embroidery, you're going to make sure you've got your piece of felt that you're going to be embroidering. Grab a needle, embroidery needle, and I want you to get two pieces of thread, two pieces of embroidery thread. And in order to do that, if you're using this standard embroidery thread that you can get at any craft store, it comes with six strands. So what you're going to do is pull the length of embroidery thread that you want and then just pull two strands away from the six, leaving four strands behind. Okay, so I've gone ahead and done that already. I've added a knot at the end so that it doesn't pull through my project. And I've actually already embroidered this first eye down. I want to go ahead and start on the second eye. So for my happy sunflower pattern, I asked you to go ahead and put them three, three uh, rounds from the center. So here's the magic ring round, one, two, three. And then you're going to put the eye next to that. Make sure that where the outer sides, the cheeks of the happy sunflower are at the sides. Okay. So position it the way that you'd like. Put your thumb over that piece of felt to hold it still. And then we're going to come from the back. You want to make sure when you're coming from the back, don't go through these holes that are between the stitches. You want to actually go through the stitches themselves, and that will trap that, that uh, knot in the back. Okay. So you're going to go through both pieces, the felt and the face piece. And you want to go leaving just maybe about an eighth of an inch, uh, really small amount um, from the edge, okay? Pull it through. That knot has stopped me from pulling it all the way through. And then to do this stitch that you want, it's called a whip stitch. This is the most common one I've seen when you're embroidering facial details or maybe the triangles for a cat's ear or something like that. You're going to use a whip stitch. So to do that, you're going to go just beneath the felt, directly horizontal to where that thread is coming through. Okay. And then come out. When you come through the felt, you're going to come just to the side of the stitch that you just made and pull through. Okay, do it again. So you're going to go just to the edge or just beneath the felt, um, directly in front of it, whatever that, whatever that direction is. Um, and then go ahead and come up next to where your thread is and pull through. Again, go to the back, come up next to your thread. You want to put the same distance that you have from the edge in between each stitch. That way you're not doing a ton of stitches, but you're doing enough to secure the eye down. Make sure that both threads are being pulled through. Sometimes they get caught and you'll see there's there'll be a little loop above, so you want to just make sure, give a little tug, make sure that the thread is being pulled, both threads are being pulled all the way through. Okay, so we've reached the end of the eye where we started. We need to go ahead and put our thread through to the back. So we're going to go just as we would normally, just to the side. But this time we're just going to pull it straight to the back. Just like that. Okay. Now you can see it's right next to my knot. Now I need to fasten off the end. In order to do that, you're going to pick up just a few of the little threads from the back of the yarn. Being careful not to go too deep because you don't want to see this on the front. Okay. Pull it through until you see a little loop. Go ahead and stick your needle through the loop and then pull tight. This is knotting the end and it's fastening it to the back piece of your headpiece here for your sunflower. Okay, again, I usually do this two to three times to really make sure that I have a good good solid knot on the back. We don't want to make we want to make sure that it doesn't ever pull out, so and this makes sure it, it won't. Okay, so once you've done that, go ahead and take your scissors your embroidery scissors and just snip the end off. Okay, so now you've got the two black felt pieces 
stitch down to your face. The next step is going to be to do the white highlights on each of the eyes. And, in, and for that particular part, I actually want to take a piece of white embroidery thread and I'm using all six strands. So I am not splicing these at all. This is a full six strands of embroidery thread here. Okay, go ahead and thread your needle. Okay, first try. <laughs> okay, once you've got that, you're going to come through the back. This time you're actually coming inside the black part of the felt here. Um, I'll show you the spot that I like this stitch to be. You can do this however you like. Um, so I kind of come just above the center and off to the left hand side. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the first stitch in. There's one. And I like to go over that stitch one more time. So that way it's double the thickness. So get your needle as close to where you started that little, that little highlight stitch and pull it through again. Okay. And then again, just go straight into where you ended that first stitch the first time. So this is just doubling it up. Okay. That gives it double the thickness. There's one. You can do this two ways. You can either tie off the end on the back and then go over to the other eye or you can just start the other eye. All the back stitching uh, thread is going to be left. You're not going to see it in the back. It'll be left inside of your piece. Okay, So go ahead and go up through to the same spot on your second eye. Pull forward. And again, you're just doing this straight little stitch here to get that highlight that you want. Okay, there's one, oops, that got a little tight. You need to loosen it a little bit. You can do that with your needle. Okay, again, go up through where you started it, that first stitch, and then go in through where you ended that stitch. You're just doubling it up. So there's your two highlight stitches. Let's go ahead and knot the white thread on the back. Okay, so you're just going ahead and picking up the back part of your yarn from the facial piece here. You want to make sure that you don't go all the way to the front. You don't want any of these stitches showing. You can see that little line of thread that's left behind. It's fine. It's all on the back, so you won't see it. I've gone ahead and done two knots, so I'm going to go ahead and clip the end off of my embroidery scissors. Okay, so now you've got your highlights for the eyes. The next part you need to do is the smile.